Last week, I had the singular joy of visiting the hospital and seeing a new baby boy just hours after his parents first laid eyes upon him. There he was in the room, wrapped tightly in the hospital blankets, while his mother and father were nearby, exhausted but exuberant, and they could not take their eyes off of him. Looking at a child, especially a baby, one gets the feeling of seeing the future. He has, God willing, his entire life ahead of him, a life full of adventure and experience, one of love and one of goodness. I have half of my life behind me, but looking at this child, I acknowledge he has his entire life before him. But one also sees the past. Even just hours after a baby is born, you can look upon that face and see the features of the father or the mother. Maybe he has his grandfather's ears or his great-grandmother's curls. Looking upon the face of a baby, you can see far into the past, generations and generations that have led up to this very moment, this very birth. The birth of Jesus Christ is the moment that creation saw eternity. God Himself came to us as one of us to redeem us. Jesus Christ grew in the womb of His mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and when He was born, Joseph looked upon His face and didn't see His own physical features, but saw the features of the entire human race. This child descended from Adam, was born to redeem Adam and every generation that followed from their brokenness and their sin. And in His face, we see the future. For reflected in His eyes are the faces of billions upon billions of people to come who will gaze upon our Lord Jesus for their salvation and their hope. And of all the amazing ways that God could come to us to redeem us, He chose the most surprising and, of course, the most excellent way. He came as a baby. In the letter to the Colossians, St. Paul writes, that Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in Him all things were created. For in Him the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through Him to reconcile to Himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of His cross. In the face of Jesus Christ, we see both our past and our future, and He redeems and gives meaning to both and this present moment of faith. For unto us, for unto you and unto me, a child is born. This Christmas, O come, let us adore him.